In today's lesson, we're going to take a look at how to set up and generate uh, recurring journal entries in X3. Uh, recurring journal entries are a useful tool in the system to help with um, recurring monthly uh, entries that the accounting team will need to make um, at each period end. So to start, we're going to set up um, the journal entry template. Then the second step in the setup process would be to link that template to a recurring task. So let's take a look at that. We're going to start uh, with the template by going to our financials menu, then to journal entry. We'll choose our one page entry. We'll come over and click on our new button. Specify our uh, financial site. Uh, in terms of our document type, uh, we have a special document type for recurring entries that we can utilize, the RECJL. Specify our starting date, our journal code, just like we would do on a standard entry. Um, in the category field, we're going to come down and flag this as being a template entry. Now, by virtue of this being a template, uh, this entry is not going to have any impact upon our books. Temporary status. Go ahead and give it a description here. And a line item description. And we'll come down here and book the entry. To our applicable accounts. So in this case, this will be a monthly depreciation entry. If there's any analytical dimensions that we wish to tag on the entry, we can also do so. Book our offset here. Okay, then we'll go ahead and create it. Now, one thing you can note um, when you're establishing uh, this template journal entry, um, if your monetary values change on a period over period basis, um, you can go ahead and on your template, you can go ahead and leave the debit and credit fields just set at zero. Then when you go ahead and generate um, the instance of the uh, recurring journal entry for a particular period, by virtue of it being of a temporary status, you can circle back in and update it to the appropriate monetary amounts for that period. Okay, so that's the first part. So this is template journal entry RCJ0001. Okay, so we'll take note of that close out of here. Now we're going to come up under our setup menu and down to financials. Then we're going to come to this option here for recurring entries. Go ahead and do our new. Give it a recurring task code. Make sure it's set to active. Our template journal code. We'll go ahead and assign the document type of RECJL. Then in this field here, this is where we link the template to this recurring task. Okay, so we'll go ahead and give it a start date and an ending date. So this is the period range over which uh, you wish for the recurring entry to be executed. In this case, we're going to set it up for once per month. As you can see here, we have uh, different frequency options depending upon your application. 
and then we can come over here and click on create. Okay, so that's going to be our recurring task. So now we're ready to go ahead and um, generate uh, the recurring entries. So we'll close page here, come down to our financials menu. Under current processings, we're going to come to recurring entries. So again, this is where we come to generate the recurring entries. So in here, I could specify a range of recurring task codes here. Um, for this particular case, I just want to run the one individual one that I set up. We'll go ahead and set a cutoff date. So in this case, I started the task in January. So let's say I want to generate it for two months here. I'll go ahead and set it to the end of February. I'm going to make it an actual entry of temporary status. Then I'll come over and click on OK. And then I can see in my log file here, I got two recurring entries here, one for January's accounting period and one for February. Okay. okay close page here. Go back up to my journal entries. Okay, there's my January entry. Again, it's of an actual status in this case. And there's my entry for February's accounting period. So, like I mentioned to you before, by virtue of this being of a temporary status, if for a particular period, you know, this period maybe wasn't $15,000, but $15,500 was the appropriate charge, I can go ahead and update that accordingly, then circle here and save it. So that is how one generates a recurring journal entry in X3.